All right, hope everybody's in their pajamas. They're in their bed, they're ready for the bedtime story. So our story for tonight is Foxy by Emma Dodd. Let's get this going. It was way past bedtime. Tomorrow was Monday and Emily would be starting school. Emily sat up in bed. She looked worried. What's the matter? asked Foxy. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can help. I am worried I haven't got all the things I need for the first day of school, said Emily. Foxy wanted to help Emily and he thought he would be able to with his magic tail. Foxy waved it back and forth and back and forth so Emily would notice. I don't need a tail for school, said Emily. I need a pencil. Voila! A pencil, said Foxy. No, silly, that's a penguin, said Emily. Foxy tried again and this time he came up with a pencil. Now I need a pencil case, said Emily. Thank you, Foxy. I also have to bring a notebook. Ta-da! A notebook. I guess magic is hard, said Emily. See, it's a chalkboard, not a notebook. But don't worry. Oops, let me try this again. that again. There's a notebook. That's better. And here's an eraser. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not an eraser. That's an elephant. I love some new school shoes, Emily suggested. Shoes. Well, those are big shoes. Thank you, Foxy, Emily said politely, but I think I'll wear my boots to school instead. How about a new hat? asked Foxy. Never mind, I'll wear it myself. See the nice hat? And here's a school bag. No, silly, that's a pirate flag. See the pirate flag? Emily still looked worried. Now what's the matter? asked Foxy. What if I'm not smart enough? asked Emily. Foxy touched Emily with his magic tail. Oh dear, said Emily. I think I would rather learn these things at school. See, they're talking about ships, space, and lion. It's a little too much to write there now. And one last thing, said Emily. What if nobody likes me? Now you don't need my magic for that, Emily, said Foxy. I know you'll make plenty of friends. There, she's off to school, and there are all her friends. Then, have a good night. Mwah.